Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I got this look using the new Mac and Patrick Star Holiday Collection. So Mac and Patrick Star are at it again and this beautiful holiday goodness is here and I'm gonna be sharing all of it with you guys in this video. And boy, there are a lot, a lot of products to cover. So I'm gonna be talking about prices. I'm going to be swatching lipsticks. I'm gonna be putting it all on my face for this holiday beat down. And this is definitely like a Christmas party glam look. It's pretty heavy. I had no intentions of doing something that was like really, really smoky, but I just kind of decided to because I loved all the colors that were in these eyeshadow palettes. There are two, by the way, and I did use both in this video. There's something about holiday makeup that is just so exciting. I feel like you can really do it up when it comes to like your eyes and your makeup. You can just do a full beat. So that's what's going to happen in this video. I'm going to show you guys how I got this kind of cut crease with green and golds. So if you guys are ready to see how I created this look using the Mac and Patrick Star Holiday Collection 2018, then just keep on watching. I have both eyeshadow palettes here from the collection and they are so different from each other. So there is a really beautiful like green one, which I love and there's a gold one. So this one is called Smoky Slay and it's full of these beautiful like forest greens and frosty shades. And then you have like a black to really smoke everything out. So I love this one. This one's probably my favorite one out of both. And of course, Patrick has the traditional gold eyeshadow palette. Like when I think of holidays, when I think of Christmas makeup, I always think of like a bronzy gold Old eye with a red lip and this is definitely that definitely that kind of palette like that beautiful gold there's like a copper bronze shade in there I really like this one too I feel like this is the most wearable one out of both palettes so both of these retail for $33 and these are times six palettes so there are six shadows inside I love this packaging I actually have a lot of collectors palettes from Mac from like their limited edition collections and I love when they do this packaging it's like my favorite the last palette that I remember purchasing with this packaging that's like metal and stuff was their Archie collection and I loved it and I still have one like that. Love this because like on the front it's like foiled and it has like this beautiful like red color and then it says Patrick Star and Mac. I want to use both of these in the look today. There's also pigments that are in this collection so I'm going to be using both and the pigments and I'll be sharing like everything I'm using as I go. So the first shade I'm picking up is called She's Gravy and this is a mid-tone peachy beige. I'm going to go ahead and start like building up the crease with this color. And once I've packed it on, I'm just gonna take a fluffier kind of brush and then blend out that edge. And I'm gonna really start like packing this color onto the inner part of the eye because I'm gonna be cutting the crease out so I want this to be pretty dramatic. So I'm just circling that in from the outer corner like more towards this area where my nose kind of meets my eye. So I'm pretty sure the first color I put on is called Fa La 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 La. And the one I'm gonna put on now is actually called She's Gravy. So swap those two out. And I'm gonna place that right over the top of Fla La 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 La. And I'm just taking the shade She's Gravy on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go around that whole eye and really like blend this in together. There's like a halo of color around that. And I'm basically just going back and forth with those two colors until this kind of crease outer area is really built up, like really smoky. So for now, I'm gonna put down the Oh Holy Eyes palette and I'm gonna jump into the Smoky Slay palette. And I really wanna play with the black in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a touch of this black and I'm just gonna start building up the outer corner just like I do with those other two colors. So I'm gonna start by placing this like along the lash line. So now that we have the black smoked out on the eye, we're gonna go back in with a lighter shade to bring it out more because once you blend out a black, it sometimes can be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna be using a shade that's a little bit lighter than that. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. Just pick up a little bit of that. I'm just gonna lightly rub up against the edge of the black and then blend it out really soft. So to highlight the brow bone, I'm gonna be using Mama Star's Christmas Cookie, and this is like a pinky beige matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the lid area, and I'm actually gonna smoke this out even more once I'm done laying these greens down. I'm just using that P. Louise base again, and I'm just gonna cut the lid. 
and I'm just gonna tap 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 on the lid until that base is really dry and then I'm gonna go in with some more colors I am so excited about using the greens. So I'm gonna grab this shade here called Tree Topper, and this is a really pretty like icy, it says it's a luster, it looks so gorgeous. So I'm first gonna pick that up. I am gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna apply this color like only halfway onto the lid. And now I'm gonna pick up the shade Holiday Secret, which is the green. And I'm gonna be placing that right on the center of my lid, just tapping that in. And now I'm going to be using this pigment like right on the outer corner of the eye. And this is in the shade, oh my god, it's gold. And I'm just going to go ahead and spritz my brush to really activate that pigment because I feel like pigments work really good when they're wet. And I'm just going to place this right next to the green. That is so beautiful. Oh my god. That has so much dimension. It is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna grab the shade Gagging for Gifts, which is described as like a deep brown. It looks like a black, but it's just a really, really deep brown. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm going to apply this right on that outer corner. I'm just gonna fade that in. So I'm taking some concealer now and I'm just gonna put this under my eyes and I'm gonna bring this really close to the eyeshadow just to clean up that edge. In this collection, we have Patrick's Powder and it comes in this beautiful packaging. There is a powder puff inside. I love this packaging. So here is the little powder puff inside. So this retails for $29. It says it's colorless with an ultra fine matte finish. And I have used this one before from Patrick's first collection and that was the holiday collection from last year. And I love this color. I think it's really pretty because it's kind of brightening in a way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to set under my eyes. So I'm just gonna dip my powder puff in. I'm just gonna press under my eyes. This powder literally makes your skin look poreless. It is so beautiful. I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face. So I'm using the pigment to smoke out the lower lash line. It's kind of like a bronzy gold. It goes so well with the greens because it's almost like an olive gold. It's not like too, too gold. And now I'm gonna dip back into the shade called Holiday Secret. And I'm just gonna use that to bring it really close to the lash line. I'm basically mixing the pigment and then this color together. And then on the inner corners, I'm gonna be using the shade Tree Topper. This is what I was most excited for from the collection, and this is a mineralized skin finish in the shade Baby It's Gold Outside, and this looks so beautiful. I love the packaging. It retails for $42, and it's described as a mid-tone bronze with gold sparkle. So I've seen that people have used this as like a highlighter, but I feel like it would be really beautiful for like all over the face. So kind of like going over the areas that you like bronze, just to add like a lot of like shimmer and just like a highlight all over. Nothing too like intense. So I'm gonna be dipping my brush into this, and I'm just gonna go over the areas in my face that I've like bronzed. So right in this area, ooh, I can already see that. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna use it as like a bronzer, pretty much. My gosh, this is so beautiful, I love it. Like I just made myself so tan with this, I love it. I'm gonna bring this down the neck. This works perfect for me as like a bronzer and because it's shimmery, you could literally put this like all over your body, which is great. In this collection, we have so many lip products, like so, so many, which makes me really excited because I love lipstick and I love lip gloss. And there are one, two, three, four, five glosses. So I'm gonna swatch them all for you guys. These are all Dazzle glasses. So if you've tried those before, they are, first of all, one of the best smelling like lip products. I love the scent of these. And they're just like very sheer, but they have like a glitter in them that reflects like a color. So there's like a brown, a purple, like a champagne, a gold, and a red in here. So you have like every color. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on the back of my hand. So this first one is called Silent Night. So this is like a purpley blue color. It's very vampy. So if you want a vampy holiday look, this is the gloss here. 
All right, so that's Silent Night. Those are really reflective and glossy. So next we have Hot Cocoa Bish, which I'm obsessed with. If you guys haven't seen my Hot Cocoa look, you have to go check it out. Hot Cocoa is one of my favorite things ever about the holidays. I love it. So this is Hot Cocoa Bish. Next we have Ride My Slay, Patrick. I love a red gloss too for the holidays. I think it's so gorgeous. Honestly, I just like glossy lips. Matte lips to me are just not my thing. I love a good lipstick and a good gloss. There's Ride My Slay, beautiful red. Next we have Twerk for Gifts. I have to say, this naming of these glosses is like my favorite thing. This one is probably my favorite name of all of them, Twerk for Gifts. This one is so pretty. It actually has a little bit of like a pink purpley tint to the gloss, like mixed in with that champagne color. And then lastly, we have the shade Santa's Got Money. And this one is like a pure gold. So there is Santa's Got Money. That's a beautiful like yellowy gold. We also have three lipsticks and these are all matte finishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those too. The first one is called Peachy Peter, and this is like a nude peachy color. That's really pretty. We next have the shade Sleigh Ride, and this is a beautiful red. Perfect, like, Christmas holiday red lip. And lastly, this is the one I'm definitely gonna be wearing. This one's called Spank Me Santa. I love this color, just looking at it. It looks beautiful. Love that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on this one called Spank Me Santa. And right over the top of this color, I'm gonna put Hot Cocoa Bish, and this is the Dazzle Glass. All right, you guys, this is my final look using the Patrick Star and MAC Holiday Collection. I loved everything, but I definitely feel like there are some standout products I just really, really like am obsessed with. So first of all, if you haven't tried the Patrick's Powder, this is one of the best setting powders that there is. It's just so like, it makes your skin look poreless. I don't know what it is about it, but I have so many setting powders and the way this one looks right now and just the way my base looks with it is amazing. And I do love the holiday packaging. I think it's really cute. As far as the lips go, I love all of the shades, but the one I have on called Spank Me Santa is probably one of my favorite lipsticks that Patrick has come out with with MAC. And he has come out with a lot of lipsticks with MAC, but I love this color because I feel like it's the perfect like wearable brown nude for like every day. And I just think it's probably like out of all the collections, this is probably my favorite lipstick that he's done. I think it's so, so nice. So the lipsticks were a hit. The pigments are beautiful, so pretty. I love all the bronzes and golds. I would love to see Patrick create like some colorful ones too. That would be amazing. And as far as the palettes, I did incorporate both of them in this look, but I just love the green. I think it's really different. If you already have a lot of neutrals and golds, I think this one is super beautiful. And as far as the mineralized skin finish, I think this is amazing, like used as a bronzer. I know if you do have a deeper skin tone, you could actually use this as a highlighter, but on my complexion, I loved it as a bronzer. I think it's so, so pretty. It kind of adds like a soft glow. I didn't add any highlighter to my face just because I wanted to use this to like create that glow and I really like it because it's not too, too intense. Like if you like highlight, but you don't wanna be like greasy looking or like wet looking, this is really nice because it's subtle and also bronzes the skin. So this was also one of my favorite things. The glosses were so nice, but I have to say out of all of the shades I tried, I do love this one called Hot Cocoa Bish. I really like this one with the Spank Me Santa lipstick. I think it's so amazing. What a great, great combo. I just love brown gloss because it's defining it adds color to the lips and it's still like a neutral. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I hope it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial.